Today I'm going to show you how to use the ruler tool and how to spin by a certain angle or degree. The ruler tool is a super useful tool that you can get to by clicking on this little image of a work plane. When I click on that, you'll see these helpers, the work plane and the ruler. Now, I can change my work plane by dragging this in and laying it on different sides of the house. So now my work plane is along this wall of the house rather than underneath of it. That's a pretty useful tool as well, but for today I want to talk to you about the ruler. All I have to do is click and drag the ruler in. And now, if I want to change the lengths of any of these sides or the height of my object, I can do so without having to try to physically do it myself. If I get rid of my ruler and I have my object here and I try to change the size, it's a little bit harder to get a specific amount that you want because say I wanted to have my house be 81.75 millimeters wide. Well, if I try to do that by hand, it doesn't let me. But if I drag my ruler in and I type in 81.75, it saves that for me. And it's just a really nice way to easily change measurement of different items when you know exactly what it is that you want. Uh, I would recommend not using the ruler if you're just trying to go by look. But if you want to do something that's extremely accurate, that is when I would use the ruler tool. I'd also like to show you how to use these curved arrows. These curved arrows are how we rotate our item along the axis, axes. So if we rotate along the Z axis, we can do so by clicking on these arrows and spinning. And as you can see, we are spinning along a really big group of degrees. Now if I wanted to, again, do something that's a little bit more detailed, all I have to do is move my mouse further away from the house and I'm able to work on a smaller amount of degrees that I move at one time. I hope those two pointers were helpful today. Have a great one.